Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to your mat. Uh, today I wanna offer you, uh, you know, a small, I guess, tutorial on props. Sometimes props, which I also like to call tools, can be a little bit daunting. What do I use them for? What do I need them for? And uh, how, do they, how do I use them in an asana practice? So today I'm gonna do a, just a really quick, I like to call it quick and dirty, um, vinyasa using all of these props. And uh, it'll just be like if you only have a few minutes to practice. So this is a really big bolster, which is great for support, great for sitting on, great for propping up under your knees, great for um, if you are having a hard time lowering down through chaturanga or through plank pose all the way down, it's nice to have this as support. So I'll show you that today. And blocks, which uh, just bring the floor to you or add extra support or allow you um, an opportunity to uh, play with poses that you may not have access to, may not always have access to. So let's get started. I'm gonna do a little vinyasa with my props today. So I have a strap. This is called an infinity strap. It's one of my favorite straps because sometimes you get a really, really long strap and the extra length gets in the way. So these are great for um, if you're having a hard time binding, for extending the length of your arms. These are great. Again, I have a very big bolster, which I love for support. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a simple basic practice using the props that I have around me. I'm going to come into a tabletop position pinky finger right to the edge of the mat, creases of the, of the wrist parallel to the top of the mat, knees behind um, my hips and just at the base of the bolster. And I'm gonna do a little bit of cat-cow. So one thing we wanna really do here is connect with our breath. Closing our lips, inhale as you soften the belly, exhale as you round into Halloween cat. So inhale when you're here, softening in through the nose, Exhale out through the nose as you round. And then what I'd like to do is just add a little rocking motion to this. So it's almost like I think of it as a wave. I'm rocking back, I'm rocking forward. Now really pressing into the pads of the fingers, so press down hard into the pads of the fingers. Press into the knuckle and the L of the hand and really claw the mat. And then we'll add a little bit more motion. Take your chest a little bit further forward Take your bottom a little closer to your heels. And I'm gonna give you the option just to stay here in this motion, back and forth, if it feels good. If you're ready for a little bit more sensation, and what I mean by that is a little bit more intensity, then you certainly can start to lift the hips up and back, root the heels down. And we'll just do a little quick vinyasa, maybe a little warm up for those of you who may have trouble supporting yourself uh, through chaturanga. So I'm in down dog here. You can stay in cat cow. And just pedaling my feet out, lifting up onto my toes, going side to side. And then rote the heels down. Inhale forward to top of a push up. And then lower your knees and lower down right onto the bolster. Then walking your hands back a little bit, bringing the tops of your feet down. Inhale, curl the shoulders back and lift. Exhale, lower down, push into your hands, and come back to your downward facing dog. And now pedal your feet out again. Let's try that again. Inhale, forward to over the plank, lower your knees down, lower down onto the bolster, curl the chest open, lift up, exhale, push back through tabletop, and back to down dog, and pedal your feet out here. So this is a really great way to work through a vinyasa, we'll do it again, knees down. If you don't have the strength to come all the way down, we're now starting to build that strength. That little, little lower helps to start build up the muscles in your arms and your shoulders to be able to support your weight all the way down to the floor. Good, and come back to down dog. Beautiful, and come back down towards your knees. Now the beauty of working with this particular um, bolster is it gives you a lot of opportunity to build up your strength and to try some new things. Okay, so thank you for joining me for a little bit of vinyasa with your bolster. Namaste.